Hey there, I'm Slightly Froggy and welcome back to my stream. Today, I'm going to be continuing my playthrough of Danganronpa 3. Hello, Qua, here in record time. Welcome back to the stream. Yes, we are continuing Killing Harmony today. We had just wrapped up the second case. And unfortunately, our maid has been fired. Hi there, MG Tower. Welcome back to the stream. Yet, we lost our maid. But we found out that our little caregiver is not much of a caregiver. She's more of a, a life taker. Yes, we found out that Maki is indeed the ultimate assassin. Which doesn't, like, it was a surprise. But at the same time, looking at Maki, it's like, yeah, yeah, she's an assassin. I, I buy that. So hopefully, we're going to have some free time today. To hang out with some people. Because I don't know how much more of the grounds we really have to explore. I imagine we'll probably have some new labs to look at. Which I'm excited about. Considering that two of the labs that we got access to last time uh, led to the case. And those labs are now empty forever. So we're still going to be friends with the killer? Yes! <laughs> I am going to hang out with Maki at the first available opportunity. Because dang it, she's cute and I want to hang out with her. And I mean, she hasn't killed anybody here yet. Like, an assassin is for hire. It's not like she's a serial killer. If somebody, mind you, if somebody pays her enough money, she might just, but... I feel like the only person who would have the means to do that is Kokichi, and she already put him in a chokehold last time, so... I don't think that's gonna be happening. I think we're safe. Yeah, I'm looking forward to hanging out with Maki. I'm looking forward to doing some more hangouts because I feel like I haven't had enough of the... I always get that in these games. I never have enough time to, like, hang out with people. I feel like I should be maybe playing a visual novel instead, maybe. But I like the visual novel social link aspects of Danganronpa because the characters are so goofy and I want to, like, figure out what their deal is. So we're going to give people a bit of time to sort of trickle in before we get started. Might not get a bunch of hangout time today. You got some other things going on. Happens after the trial. Oh, that's true. Hey there, Blue Spider. Welcome back to the stream. I'm doing very well today. Hopefully you're doing all right. It's finally getting warmer where I am, which is nice. It's much less, much less cold. Yeah, I like to think I've got a pretty good chat here. It's good having you guys back. And uh, we got some new followers in the meantime, so I'm going to give them just a real quick shout out. A big thank you to Schwankman, Toto Squid, and True Lemon Bananas for the follows. I appreciate it. So let me just pull up Danganronpa. We're going to green hell, guys. And here we go. So in the meantime, let's head to the casino. See if I can earn some bucks. Yeah, more friends. Uh, I will get out of green hell. There we go. <laughs> oh no, does it always show the last person who was killed? Because I think it did show Kaede one of the last times I was here. And now it's showing Ryoma. <laughs> no. And I bet you Monosuke is going to be up here with Mono Kid. No. Oh, no, there he is. Wait, no, it's Monodam. Oh. Let's head downstairs. We'll go around for a little bit while we wait for people to trickle in. Here we go. So now we got new games to work with. Treasure Hunter Monolith. We have the fishing game that we had before, and we have the Outlaw Run. Kind of wish they had the rhythm game here, just because I desperately need to practice that one. That's the one I need to practice the most, and it's not here. So, off right off the bat, let's do a couple of mono mono slots. Yes, because I've got a fair amount of money to work with here. Oh, max! Whoop. I misclicked, but I was gonna go max anyway. Boo. Let's try that again. I'm gonna do it three times. We'll see what we get. Ooh! Wow, 16. Big money, big money. One more time. Ooh. 
Lucky. Ooh, got a bonus one. All right, let's see what I get. Big money. Ooh. Lucky number seven achievement unlocked. All right, I did pretty well for myself there. Four bonus game. Oh, another one? Wait, do I get four bonus games? Nope, nothing there. Ooh, another bit. Bit of cash. Got two more bonus games. Man, this is how they this is how they get you. Ooh. Get three to five bonus games. Oh, oh, so I got the max. Nice. Ooh, 200. Nice. Alright. I feel like that is the best I'm gonna do for tonight. <laughs> I feel like I'd be pushing my luck otherwise. I'm learning from uh from Kaito's mistakes. Ooh, which one should I do next? I feel like I should do the treasure one just because. You know what? Out Outlaw Run's pretty fun, though. Hey there, Infamous God. Welcome back. And JJ, welcome back. Where's the blackjack and hookers? Man, I know. This is this is the worst casino ever. There's no blackjack or hookers in it. It's just mono fanny. Car's most fun. That's true. I think the slots are in your favor. I don't know. I've had, like, iffy luck with the slots in previous times. I haven't done badly. I just haven't done very well. Like, this, this bit on the slots I did today is probably the best I've ever done. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. Cause we got a couple minutes left. Let's do a bit of driving. You've never lost coins on the slots over, oh, over long runs. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to remember the controls for this. It has nothing to do with driving at all. The driving one's got a, full, a cool aesthetic, though. Um, yeah, we'll keep it on kind. Um, we'll keep it low. What's the- oh, 99's the max bet for this one. Uh, hmm. Let's go up to 20. And... Here we go. Outlaw run. I feel like I'm playing Despair Girls right now. Yeah, speed up, baby. Oh no, that's too fast. Oh, that's way too fast. How many pedestrians can you hit? Okay. Well, this isn't too bad. I can handle this. I know I just said Mono Kid made it too fast, but. Come on, out of my way. There we go. Just holding down the accelerator. All gas, no brakes, baby. How long does this go for? Oh, whoops. Shoot. Killed my streak. Aha. <laughs> Insert gas? I can insert gas? Oh no, too fast, too fast. Whoop. 
gas, gas, gas. This is oh, okay. <laughs> oh, initial D. Okay. <laughs> uh. Okay. I got S though. That's pretty good. Not a big money game, but I think it's a fun one though. All right, but we've hit thirty. 7.30, which means it's time for us to get started. This is full speed. Yeah, that's how you become a pro is if you can do like initial D style like drifting. Then you got it. Maybe one day I'll get there. Oh, green hell, green hell. End my suffering. Okay, here we go. <laughs> What you're seeing now is live footage of the sky from our camera at the scene. You can clearly see the meteors raining down. We are witnessing what looks like the end of the world. Oh my god, the humanity. What a way to jump in. This is not a movie. I repeat, this is not a movie. This is live, unedited footage. This is real. The sky is falling before our very eyes. We've just been notified that the government has officially declared a state of emergency. Uh -oh. Subway stations have been opened as shelters. Uh, hmm. With giant pieces of rock raining out of the sky, hitting the ground at very quick speeds. I don't know if hiding people underground is the best idea. That feels like a good way to trap people. We're watching Armageddon. Hey there, Olaf. Welcome back to the stream. Yeah, it feels like it, doesn't it? The government is instructing citizens to remain calm and evacuate to their nearest shelter. <laughs> oh, Sayaka. Children and invalids are to be given first priority. Nope. Oh. Uh oh, we lost the feed. Yeah, this is a ooh transfer student from beyond the grave. <gasps> it was the day after the second trial. We all headed to Maki's lab on the third floor of the school building. Kaede. Get her. <laughs> and awaiting us there was an unexpected sight. Oh. Yeah, if we start bringing them Come back. On, man. What the heck is this? Mm. It's like Weapon Warehouse. Junko's back. Oh no, not again. <laughs> right? See, I told you she's not the ultimate child caregiver. What was that breaking news thing? Um, just a little in between. Just to let you know what's going on in the outside world, uh, it, it's not great. Child giver? Yeah, Maki, uh, cause originally it's like she's the ultimate caregiver, but now we've been, we've found out, we've been new. She's the ultimate assassin. The children are her guns. She just whips children at people until they die. Maki is the ultimate assassin. Is that all right? Kokichi, you learned that from the Moda video, right? Monokuma said everyone's ultimate talent at the beginning of their video. Yeah, she just yeets them at you. No, no, this is how you care for children. <laughs> of course. I mean, I'm not a parent, but, like, that checks out. Ryoma knew Maki's true identity because he had her Moda video. And because you saw that... Mm hmm? Hmm? Oh, I knew the whole time. Given my position, I'd obviously know before any of you, right? Huh? Your position? Ah. Oh, don't worry about it. That was a lie. <laughs> How else will they learn discipline? <laughs> anyway, her reaction yesterday pretty much gave away that she's the ultimate assassin. <laughs> yeah, you can probably snack my neck like a twig right now. But that's not your style. Y you would rather kill from the shadows. I mean, to be fair, I think most people would want to strangle Kokichi at this point, but she's the only one to actually start to do it. <laughs> right, Miss Ultimate Assassin? Hmm. But why ever did she lie about being the ultimate child caregiver? <laughs> Wouldn't strangle Kokichi, his best boy. <laughs> Who, Kyo? Kyo's a pretty good boy. Cause assassins hide to do all their killing. 
If people find out they're assassins, they get all cautious and they can't kill anyone. It can't be. Did she hide her real identity because she was planning to kill us? Hmm. Man, I would totally punt Kokichi. But then, why hasn't she killed anyone yet? She has had many opportunities to do so. I'm disappointed. Why did Kyo come up? I said I wouldn't. Oh, I assumed the text came up when Kyo was on screen. So I was like, oh, Kyo? <laughs> wouldn't strangle Kokichi's best boy. Jeez, robots can't even understand human feelings, let alone a girl's heart. How rude! Please take back what you just said. I can too understand human feelings. Listen closely. But I'm still in the process of collecting data. Please, give me data. Please. Right? Oh, you're, if you're so worried, why don't you ask her? She's been holed up in her room all day. But I can't promise that she won't try to kill you like she tried to do to me. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing everyone was there to stop her, but what about next time? Best let sleeping gods lie. <laughs> the talent of a killer that is the biggest threat to all of us who wish to survive. Hey! Let's just lock her up somewhere so she can't kill anyone. <sighs> I'll leave that to you, Gonta. Huh? Uh huh? But... Got it! I'll help too. I don't want another killing to happen. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, hey, Anji's all about spirituality. Uh, wait, you don't have to take it that far. It's not like she's trying to kill us. Sneak attack. A sneak attack is the way to go. We have to strike before she does. Hit her from behind. Um. Oh, I, actually, when they said like, yeah, let's tie her up somewhere, I'm like, Nagito? <laughs> Again? <laughs> no, we can't trust her, so we'll just tie her up and leave her to starve, I guess? A dog? That is true, yeah. Let sleeping dogs lie. Sneak attack? Strike before she does? Shouldn't I, Keto Master, be saying those things? It'll be okay. If that is the case, then Atua and I will work with everyone to uphold the peace. That's fine. If so, then I'll cheer you on. I'll use my magic to pull pom poms out of my mouth. I mean, I'd like to see that, because that sounds ridiculous, but I don't think it's going to be a big help here. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to wake up Cthulhu. Wow. <laughs> wow, that kind of peppy cheer magic would make everyone, anyone excited. It's magic. Hold on, guys. Leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. Yeah. Ultimate assassin my ass. Always messing around. She's still under Anji's spell? Uh, that is a good question. I'm going to say... I don't know. I, when Angie kind of turned against her in the trial, I was hoping that would kind of wake her up, but she did still have some moments of waiting on Atua, so... I don't know. I hope she's broken out of Angie's spell. Huh? Uh, Kaito, don't do anything stupid. Okay. Okay, let's leave everything to Kaito. You get it? Gonta, you should stand back. Nothing good ever happens when you try to help. Oh... Huh? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Konta. Come on, man. Next murder victim is Atua. Man, I hope so. I hope that's the final boss of the game. It's like, you must now kill God Atua. Like any true JRPG would ask you to do. Hey, Gonta, like I told you, a man shouldn't apologize so easy. Nope, oh, there he is. Oh, I don't need everyone's usual reactions. Time's a bit of a factor here. Ah! Monokuma? Stay back. Everyone, get behind Gonta. Himiko, get behind me. I'll surround you with my body to keep you safe. Be quiet. I just said I don't need your usual reactions. You're it's almost halftime, so the stats should be out soon for everyone to obsess over. And since you guys overcame the class trial, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. Hey! I said, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. 
Huh? My adorable little cubs aren't coming? Hmm, that's strange. Oh yeah, there's so many, there's only three. <laughs> Oh, mono dam. Yay! They're finally here! Yay, you're so cute today. It's practically obscene. <laughs> they are useless. Just, wow, you guys are seriously cute. Have you always been this cute? <laughs> ah, that shock of my super cute kid seems to be making me go bald. Like in patches. Oof. <laughs> He, he's actually balding? Uh, gross. Ah, uh, I'm cold. Very cold. Hey, my cute little cubs. Could you hurry up and give them the prize? I it's too cold. I can't s stand it. Hurry, I want to go somewhere warm. Like a tropical island, maybe. Huh? What's wrong? Why aren't you backing me up? Father... We are not your slaves. We will not let you use us anymore. <gasps> huh? It's a mutiny. So then... From now on, I will be calling the shots. Yeah. <laughs> Good one, kids. <laughs> Very funny. You can show me where the hidden cameras are now. That's old. Uh, father, you're too old for this. You've been doing this so long, you've become predictable. It's the age of the mono cubs now. Out with the old, in with the new. What? What? But what about all the longtime fans who. Anyway, you're just a has been. Why don't you just retire somewhere and work on your tan? Uh, has been? Wonderful. Good job, you two. You memorized my script perfectly. Do you really think you can defy your dad? Do you think I'd forgive such... Ooh, that's what you get when you give them robots. Did you forget, Father? Only we can pilot the Exosalt. What? Really? How could you forget that? <laughs> How could you forget that? Thank you, Father, but the Academy is under our harmonious control now. Step aside, Father. It, it can't be. I wonder if we're gonna end up working with Monokuma against them in the final act. N no way! Are you saying that treating you kids like my property was... wrong? You're the worst of the worst! It's completely and utterly wrong! No, 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 no way! Nah, he's bald again. It seems the shock made him bald. This time for good. Now then, as the new headmasters, we have for you bastards. A wonderful prize. Um, let's see what the prize is this time. And a ninja scroll of the prize bundle! Hmm. Wow, what a bunch of random junk. I mean, bravo! 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 We look forward to working with you. I hope we can all get along. Sure thing, Monodam. Please don't kill me. I had a feeling it was more junk. Oh man, we didn't need more junk. We had way too much anyway, and its name is Kibo. That's robophobic. Now you've gone too far. Everyone, we can't allow this kind of intolerant language. No fighting. Everyone has to get along. Use this prize to explore the new areas together. Actually, also, we've hidden another flashback light somewhere too. I hope you all grow even closer now that you've regained more of your memories. So long. Jeez, those cubs suck. Monokuma was way better. Damn it. I've got too much pride as a human to let those robots push me around. <laughs> it's every game's got junk in some way, shape, or form. The world would be a better place if robots didn't exist. They should all be destroyed. 
I'll commit that to my memory. I've recorded your intolerant remarks and will report them to the proper authorities. Hey, so... So, what are we gonna do? If we use this junk, we can open up new places, but... Woohoo! Yay! A new area means we can all have lots more fun! Uh... I don't know if we'll have that much fun. I find myself more interested in the flashback light. Perhaps we'll recall the school's secret. Okay. If that's the case, then we'll deal with Murder Girl later. Listen up. Hey, bro, I'll leave this to you again. Do a good job, all right? Uh, okay. Okay, got it. Gonta protect you. If you find dangerous place, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. But... Cause Gonta, a gentleman. Nah. All that aside, what are we gonna do with that thing? Oh yeah, he's still here. Uh... Um, let's just leave him here. So long, bear well, Monokuma. Uh, I suppose I should go try out these items around the school like last time. That is a really cool cloak, though. Wait. What can I hit? Yes! I need to clean Maki's room. Ooh, lots of guns, lockers. Black case? What's this? There are three black cases lined up. Do they all have weapons inside? Occasionally, John Wick borrows them for a while. Anything else? No, I think that's it. Wait. This feels like a shame I can't hit the targets there. <laughs> um, what else? Firearms. Whoa. I exclaimed in awe at the sheer number of guns lined up. They can't be real. No, of course they aren't real. They're airsoft guns. Well. Ah, of course. Monokuma wouldn't give us real weapons. Exosols may be strong, but if we were to revolt with real guns, Monokuma would never allow that. These weapons were real, and if Kurumi were here, she might have taken us all out in order to escape. For her people. I mean, technically, like, we're her people as well, but oh, I really want that cape. Who dies next? What's your guess? Oh, man. Um, I think a girl's gonna die next, because up until now, we've only had guys die, and the girls have been the perpetrators. So I think a girl's gonna die next, and the perpetrator's gonna be a guy. I don't know who yet, but that is my guess. Chainsaws? I know, Makoto needs to be stopped. I'm telling you. There are a lot of different weapons here. Maki knows how to handle all of these? Well, I mean, she wouldn't be the ultimate assassin if she couldn't. Um, oh, that's it. I forgot there's not a lot to look at in the labs. Alright, Monokuma was a... I'm not going to bother. Kaito! Go. I'll leave this to you again. Do a good job, alright? Okay. Uh, well, I don't mind, but... Hmm? You don't mind, but what? No. No, it's just that when we were talking about Maki, you looked really upset. Ah. I believe it. I think she could kill somebody with chopsticks. Well, yeah. I can't believe she's an assassin. Well, that's... I can't believe it either. She doesn't seem like she could be some terrifying assassin. <laughs> T terrifying, huh? Don't worry about either way, me. leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. I'm just so good with people. I got this, bro. Alright, so we've got some new areas of the school to unlock. Oh, Angie. Yay! If a new area opens up, that means more fun for everyone. Atua and I will cooperate so everyone can have a super fun school life. Atua I believe in Kaito. You know what I do too. I know I, I ragged on Kaito a lot early on because it felt like he was like really simping for Kaede, but... And he was getting in the way of Shuichi and Kaede. But I'm warming up to Kaito a lot. He seems like a cool guy. Atua sees everything, even what everyone truly desires. What everyone truly desires? Maybe. That's right. Atua is always watching over me. How divine! <laughs> That's Atua for ya. He's so divine. 
Yeah, I can see that. They like doing that with certain characters in these games. Like, Fuyuhiko, I think, was kind of the same in Danganronpa 2. You started off hating him, and then you really warmed up to him as he kind of got his attitude in check. I feel like Angie's getting more and more creepy. Wrong. Angie was always creepy. I disagree with you, Shuichi. Alright, so we got some areas to check out here. Um, oh, probably here. Uh, but let's talk to the rest. Kyo, what's going on, dude? Humanity every part beautiful. of every human being, even their ugly sides, is beautiful. There is no limit to beauty. Kurumi, she too had her own exceptional beauty. Excellent. A crime that was bold, yet calculated. A crime against the truth. Brutally killing others for her beliefs. Unfeelingly sacrificing the few for the many. Wonderful. Yeah. I don't I don't see Kaito really like hugging other people though. Kaito is early on with Kaede, playing as Kaede, he was like the the where's my hug guy. And her attachment to life and determination to live. Her attempt to escape was so very ugly. It was pathetic, pitiful, wretched. But it was beautiful. I had never before seen such beauty in a human being before. Kyo, you gotta stop with this, man. Half the time I'm like, yeah, he's got the right idea, and then he says creepy shit. I have no idea what Kyo was talking about. But in my own way, I also have Kurumi's last moments burned into my mind. Everything is beautiful. Pain is beautiful. Suffering is beautiful. Beauty is beautiful. Ah, <sighs> too much is happening all at once. It's just too much for me. Ryoma's case was a shock, but then to find out Kurumi ran the country, and Maki's an assassin. An average citizen like me can't keep up. I'm not sure the ultimate cosplayer can be considered average. You know what though, in this group of weirdos, she is pretty normal. <laughs> hey Kay, welcome back to the stream. But I'm glad I'm an average citizen. If I ever had a reason to live as strong as Kurumi's, or if I ever lost everything important to me like Ryoma did. In any if anything like that happened, I probably would have just cowered in a corner somewhere. I guess. Putting aside whether what Kurumi or Ryoma did was right or wrong, I think it's amazing they were even able to do anything at all. For people like them to die in this place, it's just not fair. You know what? I'd believe it. I'd believe in a transforming Gonta, but he would want to transform into a giant bug. Um, Gonta, what's wrong? Oh, oh, sorry. Gonta think he see bug. Uh, um... Yeah, you've said that before. Is it a bug that you can barely see? Mm. Yeah, he's already basically like the shape of it. Yeah, Gonta feel like he can see it sometimes, but Gonta can barely see it. It's probably mistake. Gonta. Oh, but he's trying so hard to be a gentleman, though. Cause Gonta wished there were bugs here, so Gonta just mistake dust for them. Is that really the case? Would Gonta make that mistake more than once? Allow Gonta. Anyway, if you find dangerous area, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. I know he means well, but I'm hesitant to ask him to be a shield. Oh, he's absolutely a gentleman. He's missing shoes, but he's just about there anyway. All right, let's use the key. Magic key. Nice. All right, whose labs are we gonna find here? That is true, he doesn't throw dead bodies. The door collapsed. Looks like we can get to the back now. Sorry, reading comprehension today. <laughs> Go into gentlemen no throw bodies. What I wonder is beyond here. Perhaps someone awaits us. Huh? You think? <laughs> Merely a jest. Yes, this world is full of jests. Ha, Kyo, the ultimate stand-up comedian. A world full of jests. I suppose that's true. All right. A staircase. We can get to the fourth floor now. 
I wonder what the upper floors are like. There's nothing dangerous, right? Well, there's only one way to find out, Samugi. Or is there? It's okay. Don't worry, Gonta will protect you, no matter what. Thank you. Thanks, Gonta. That's reassuring. A tuxedo and a mask would suit you. Um... Hmm? Tuxedo's essential for gentlemen, but masks too? Nah, he's never seen Sailor Moon. Well... I should go. Shuichi's like, I'm not gonna try and explain cultural references to a man who was raised in the jungle. That is... Oh, this looks creepy. I don't like this. Nah, I don't like this at all. Oh, yes, this is the creepy floor. I feel like I'm in a Resident Evil game. Alright. Ah! Frightening atmosphere was so oppressive I let out a shout without realizing it. Uh, um... What is going on in here? So, um, this is a made-up story, but a brutal murder supposedly took place here. Stop it! Please stop. If I hear any scary stories, I won't be able to go to the bathroom alone. Um... Oh, but she say it made-up story, so that may not okay, right? So long. Farewell! Well, that was... What was that all about? That didn't go anywhere or do anything. Um, okay, nothing over here. Uh, um. This area feels spooky. Going to scared too. <laughs> hey there, Celestia Ludenberg. Okay, well, I mean, I wanted to hang out with Maki anyway, but we're sort of doing some exploring right now. That's okay, the murder story was just made up. Not just story, going to just have weird feeling. <laughs> yes, I suppose that's the Mono Cubs in a nutshell. This didn't go anywhere or contribute anything. Maybe stain on that wall over there is blood. No, it's just a stain. It's probably just staged, you know? Huh? Staged? Um, Monokuma or the Mono Cubs probably just put it there to scare us. Huh? Really? <laughs> I don't know. Like, they're all, they were all fun in their own little way. I didn't mind Monosuke. I think Mono Kid I hated the most, though. So the script has been flipped, huh? Uh, Samuki, um... does this kind of stuff bother you? Uh... Well, it's not that I'm okay with it. It's just, when it's so overdone like this, it makes it seem fake, so I feel okay. You know what? I'm kind of the same. I'm, I'm kind of with Samugi on this one. Yes, they are distracting during the executions. I think it's meant to bring some sort of levity to it, but, I mean, we've managed up until now. I don't know why they're in this one. If they were left out of the executions, I probably wouldn't mind them as much. But I don't hate them. I think they're fine. Uh, but I'm 100% with Zumugi on this one. I'm one of those people who uh, does not do well in haunted houses and things. I don't do super well with scary stuff. But if it's like that overdone, then it's like, okay, yeah, this is fake. It's whatever. Can't get scared. Actually, But Gonta, you were so reliable until just now. I guess it's too early for you to wear a tuxedo and mask. Huh? Huh? Oh no! But tuxedo's essential for gentlemen! Yeah. It wasn't cool. Like, I like both Nagito and Chiaki, but... The circumstances were not ideal. Hey, so I'm just checking, but... This is a school, right? It's a cage. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, at least that's what Monokuma said. Um, this floor doesn't seem very schooly at all, though, does it? No. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Actually, I mean, this floor's atmosphere is completely different, like it's a whole other building. Uh... Making a building like this must have taken a lot of money and work. And all the research labs are amazing. How much money was put into this school? And it was all built just for us. You're right. They did mention that the labs were so we could develop our talent. You research, you research your talent, perfect it. That's kind of like a school, isn't it? It can't be. Then Monokuma really wants this to be a school where ultimates gather? Hmm. 
And yet, at the same time, they're trapping us here and making us kill each other. I guess. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. We were brought here and then forced to do the killing game. Uh... Yeah. That's true. Um, I don't understand at all. My plain mind has hit its limit. What on earth is this academy for ju gifted juveniles? Uh, there's a lot of little rooms over here. Left room. Central room. Right room. What is... Like a fake end of the hallway? It's a painting. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's check out the right room. Oh, this is what it means by the the dead coming back. Oh. Yeah, I felt bad for Ibuki. Ibuki deserved better. Candles just barely lit a dim, dusty room. <laughs> you saw nothing. Oh no, I saw something. Hmm. This is creepy. Hard to see, too. It seems like something that would appear in an occult manga. There's a tragic feeling here really does feel like something's gonna pop out at you. There's a monitor in here. Floor. Yeah. These floorboards feel a bit unstable. Oh. Ah! <laughs> yeah, you got me, Olaf. Oh, this floorboard got no nails in it. Huh? Uh, really? Hmm. Yeah, floorboard just resting on top of cross piece. That's true. I suppose it's not just my imagination. But but each floorboard is thick and they got no gaps between them, so it look okay. No. I mean, she didn't deserve to be killed off anyway, but strangled was a rough way to go. Going to not worry about falling through floor all of a sudden. But but it's pretty dark in here. It's a little hard to see where we're stepping. And in the corner, there's a hole in the floor, so it might not be good to go over there. Oh, but I want to go over there now. Hmm. Okay. The candles, I guess? The candles on the walls are the only light in the room. There are no windows here. It'd get pitch black if candles go out. Right? Uh, please don't put them out. I don't really like the dark. Well... I can't imagine many people do. No, I don't want to set the room on fire. There doesn't seem to be anything else of interest in this room. Hmm. It's just an empty room. Oh! Oh, this not only empty room, you see three same-looking doors in hall, right? All those rooms empty just like this one, and they only got candles for light too. Hmm. Ah, so there are three of them. Oh, boo. I mean, there does seem to be a theme, but oh, what a terrible theme. Anyway, we no gotta worry. No reason we ever need to use empty room like this. You're right. True. Um, then uh, can we leave soon? The darkness and the shaky floor are making me nervous. It's only a matter of time before the shutters burst open and a newspaper gets blown in. Well. But there are no windows, though. Oh, that's true. Oh, you got a good point there, Blue Spider. I don't have any reason to waste time in an empty room. All right. We can head out then. Yes, I would like to leave. <laughs> okay, center room. He's not dead. Oh, I see. This is exactly like the other room. Uh, there is a line on the wall. It's really dim, so it's difficult to move around. I can see a gap in the corner. I should be careful. <laughs> I mean, 
mean there's candles, but... Candles on the walls are the only light in the room. Alright, um... That seems like all I can look at. And then one last empty room. Oh, Manosuke. Yeah, I see. This is exactly like the other room. Floor. They all have the same gap. It's really dim, so it's difficult to move around. I can see a gap in the corner. I should be careful. Just in case. Oh. Alright, well, that's it then, I guess. I know this will be used for something later, but... <laughs> Very curious with that. Ooh. I don't like it. The red mist. Mystery room. This must be a door to an ultimate lab. I wonder whose lab this is. I should look inside. I should start snooping. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah, this is this is Kios. It's almost like a museum or a library. It's huge and a little eerie. Man, why does his look so cool? His looks so cool. There's multiple levels. What? Why does Kyo get the best room? There are various objects stored in shelves and cases. Some of them seem very rare. Oh, it's a cool talent. I'm I don't I'm not knocking that. I'm just saying that like everybody else like Kurumi's had like a secret little like room thing. And like <laughs> Ryoma had a jail bathroom. Like Korikyo's got like eight floors of like rare artifacts. And it's, like, got the cool design to it and everything. Would appear this is my lab. The ultimate anthropologist lab. You know what? Yep, Kyo's lab would 100% be on the creepy floor. Wonderful. It's so wonderful. My face contorts with glee. Not even university labs are so well stocked. But who brought all this stuff here? I suppose there's no point thinking about it. Nothing in this place makes sense. Wait. Can I break? <gasps> yes! Break the artifacts. Break them all. Priceless artifacts. Ooh, there's a back door. Oh my god, there's so many slappables here, guys. Anything else? Oh no. There's no more slappables. Oh, is it? But a back door. That's interesting. Kool Aid Kyo. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's true. Sonia had a very nice cottage. <laughs> Those belong in a museum. And I'm gonna break it. There's something in this case. It's a golden katana. How beautiful. Hmm, golden katana, huh? It's rusted in places, but looks about a yard long and still sharp. Is that real gold? It's probably valuable. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I think that was the one from the first one. Speaking of Sayaka... <laughs> you were drawn to that katana, I see. However, it is merely coated with gold leaf. Hmm. Yeah, it does look familiar, doesn't it? Oh, so it's not made of gold. Well. That said, that katana has immense anthropological value. In certain rural areas, katanas used to defeat generals in wars are worshipped as gods. That is one such katana. It is an extremely precious relic necessary to spread... Whoa, that's a super rad katana. I want to take a look-see. I'm here to wreck everything. Kukichi suddenly popped up between us and grabbed the katana from the case. <sighs> Wait, you mustn't touch it without... Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be super careful with it. No, he's not. He's gonna break it. <laughs> yes, he's here to make things fun. <laughs> Would I lie to you? Yeah. 
Kokichi completely ignored Kyo's warning and unsheathed the sword. Mm. Now this katana is the real deal. It's even gold-plated for that authentic look. Yeah. Hmm, I see. It could also be used as a murder weapon. Hold on. Kokichi, that is an extremely precious relic. Please do not treat it so lightly, or I will tear nerves. out your nerves. Please don't. Okay, I get it. Please don't make such scary threats. Kokichi slid the sword back into its sheath and handed it back to Kyo. Whoa. Ew, my hands are all sticky. This gold plating flakes off so easily. Hey, just like the other one. But I guess that's what makes it an authentic katana. Dear. Yes, it is very old, so the gold leaf comes off easily. In any event, please do not touch things without permission. These are all precious relics. Yeah. I would not take Kyo's threats lightly. The man is spooky. If you do so again, I will tear out your nerves. Please don't. Uh, I get it. The scary threats really aren't necessary. So that's what Kyo sounds like when he gets angry. The dog statue. There's a large wooden dog statue on the pedestal. Looks pretty old. Has some kind of strange power to it. Makes me shiver just looking at it. Could it be? That's... Ooh, can it be? I never could have dreamed that this truly existed. <laughs> Kyo thinks everything's beautiful. The creepier, the better. Kyo, quivering with excitement, reached out to that peculiar dog statue and slowly removed the white fabric on the pedestal. Uh, oh, he 100% be... can. Oh, there's even a cage. This is perfect. Uh, um... Perfect? For what? What are the statue and cage for? <laughs> I never thought I would be able to touch the real thing in all of my life. Today is a momentous day indeed. He's so focused that he's not even listening. We'll never find out what it is. Um, monitor... Uh, ooh, exhibit case. And then there's the door. There's a book in the display case. Where, what happened? Your spirit of self-sacrifice is just so beautiful. The bookcases were full of books, but I imagine this one is special. Hmm. This one looks like it was bound by hand. Could it be? Can it truly be? Unlike his usual quiet self, Kyo shouted and ran over to me with an alarmed expression. With steady, careful hands, he took the book from its showcase. Incredible. It is! How amazing. It's actually real. Um, What is that book, Kyo? Uh, it is an extremely it precious document. Do you understand? This book is a history of the fabled Caged Dog Village, said to have been destroyed long ago. The Caged Dog Village? The Cage Dog Village had a reputation for using many dark arts and spells. The village was destroyed at the hands of a feudal lord who feared their power. But one girl, the lone survivor, risked her life to write this book. Wonderful. Oh, he's a lot of fun. Which means this is all her handwriting. This book is an extremely precious, one-of-a-kind relic that has been soaked in her bitter grudge. One of a kind? Oh, that is valuable. I see. On yes. top of that, since this book has such a reputation, there are few copies. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of those copies, I have already memorized it. <laughs> but I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Uh, um... uh Kyo, what did you mean by reputation? Yes. The rumor goes that the spells and dark arts inscribed in this book are extremely potent. They surpass the comprehension of people who live in a world of science and technology. That is why it was buried in the darkness, along with the entire caged dog village. <laughs> but it seems those were no mere rumors. I can feel power seeping out from this book. The deep-seated grudge of a girl whose village was destroyed permeates every letter. This is getting weird. I think I should just end this conversation take a quick water break. Fiala, so the only thing I've learned is that I've learned nothing about this lab. 
<laughs> There's certainly a lot here. How many floors is that? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six floors. No, seven, because there's stairs going up even further. Man. It's got, like, the best lab. I just want to live in Kyo's lab. This is a great lab. Listen. By the way, Shuichi, would you like to lend your ear to the voices of the dead? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> huh? The what? Do you understand? The Cage Dog Village documents contain many dark arts unique to that village. Of all of them, the one I find most interesting is a seance called The Caged Child. Yes. In fact, the wooden dog statue and iron cage over there are to be used in this very seance. Okay. <laughs> to discover it exists is surprising enough, but to actually have it before me. You see. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we haven't seen our lab yet. It could be good. I'm just saying, like, out of all the ones I've seen so far, I really like Kyo's lab. So, would you like to try? Let us converse with the dead using the caged child, shall we? No. Uh, no thanks. I don't have any interest in the occult. Mm. Now, now, you mustn't dismiss it as simply the occult. Some matters you refer to as the occult are of the utmost importance to anthropology. Oh man, that'd be great. Just a bunch of hats. Dismissing things you don't understand as the occult is a defilement to all cultures, yes? No. Uh, yes, but talking to the dead... Say... Haven't you ever wanted to speak with the dead? Huh? Huh? I mean, yes, my girlfriend is dead. Speak with the dead. If it were possible, I suppose I'd like... I suppose I'd like to talk to her one more. No. No, no, I decline. Okay. Even if it were possible to speak with the dead, I don't have anything to say. Not yet. The only thing I'd want to say is... We escaped. We finally got out of here. <laughs> that determination is beautiful. Perhaps you are correct. Calling on the dead out of curiosity would only be blasphemy. Forgive me. One I must call myself. on them only at the appropriate time. Okay. I felt a shiver up my spine. Ah, uh, what's the back door? Oh. Oh. Oh, it just goes through. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um. There they are. Um. I want to head down this way. Oh. Oh, I don't like this. I don't... Ooh, I don't like this at all. Oh, this is... Oh. <laughs> Ooh. What is this? It's like a hanging scroll, but it's blank. I don't think I can use an item on that, but... <laughs> yes, red rum! Red rum! Um, there's some heads missing. Uh, ooh, oh. That looks like Angie's. That looks like an art palette. It's the door to an ultimate lab. From the look of it, I'd say it's for art. Yeah. I admittedly, like, in the setting of this game, it's unsettling. But if I saw it at, like, like, if it was the decor at, like, a restaurant, I'd kind of dig it. I wouldn't want to live in it, and I wouldn't go there all the time, but it'd be cool. I should investigate a little. Oh! Um... Like, outside? Outside? Like, in the... Garden area? Anything in this game is unsettling. Yes. I grabbed the doorknob and turned it. Oh, huh. it's locked. Hmm. Ah, huh, it's locked. Yeah. Oh, yep, seems like it. Yes, we can't go in. Hmm. But why is it locked? The other ultimate labs weren't locked. Ah. 
Oh, by the way, this lab has some kind of rear entrance at the end of the hallway. I'm disappointed. But that was locked too. Uh, um... If both the doors are locked, how are we gonna get inside? <laughs> <laughs> Don't give up just yet, cause I have a secret tech. As if on cue, we heard the metallic click of a lock opening. And the door slowly opened. Oh, this isn't creepy at all. No, it's gotten worse. Yeah, -ha. Yeah -ha. can I help you? Hmm. Angie, you were in here? Hey, hey. I feel weird chatting out here, so let's all go inside already, okay? How pushy. Come in, come in. Please, come in. Ever polite, Angie invited us into the lab anyway. It's two little weirdos. Okay, like, I mean, it looks like an artist's lab, so I, all right. There are various art and carving tools. Makes sense for the ultimate artist's lab. Hmm. But why does this lab have locks? Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken. He says this classroom was probably made for me. Huh? What does that mean? I will answer that with my sexy, beautiful voice. Ah. Wait a second, we said I was gonna answer that question. Eh? No, we didn't. Is your memory getting even worse, Monotaro? <laughs> you promised, because I don't remember you not promising. Stop it! That doesn't make any sense. I don't care. So what? Just let me do it. If you don't, I'll stick my hand up my butt and then shove it in your mouth and rattle your molars around. That's graphic. Yeah! Ah, that's unsanitary. Monodam can't even say anything to that. Wait, Monodam, we we weren't fighting. We were just messing around, you know, because we're friends. It's fine. It's fine as long as you're getting along. So, so what's up with the key? Oh, yes. And she's the kind of girl who can't focus on her art unless she's alone. Maybe. I must shut out all people and noises so that I can be one with the great Atua. <laughs> Monodom? Oh, okay. Sorry, it was spelled with a D-A-M, so... Monodom. Gotcha. You are fighting Monodom. <laughs> Atua is much too shy to be one with me in front of people. Hmm. Wow, like a porn star. <laughs> uh, how? It's the opposite. And then? So any room where I'm going to make art needs to have a key, but... I'm surprised the Monocubs knew that. Yeah. Huh? Hmm. And these are all my favorite art supplies and sculpting tools, too. How did you know? Oh, uh, what should I say? I'm not a good improviser. Uh, calm down, I'm even worse. Because we know everything about you bastards. We Mono damn! <laughs> because we want to be your friends. Friends don't call friends bastards. Unless they're best friends. And then you call them bastards all you want. I don't like that. I don't want to be friends with you. I'm only interested in Monokuma. I don't want to get friendly with knockoff products. <sighs> Ooh. Why? Why would you say that? Why do you hate me? I, I won't that. forgive anyone who refuses to get along with me. Friendship or death. Hmm. Now, now, Monodom. We haven't given them the key to this room, have we? Okay, here it is. But there's only one key, so don't lose it. Okay. It'd be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. So then... Let me see that key. No. Monodom swiped the key from Monofanny, then lifted it to his mouth. Um, um. Ah, he ate it. Gulp. Ah. Ah, he swallowed it. Beep, beep. beep. He's dead. Ah, he's flatlining. Uh -oh. 
What are you doing? If you swallow that key, you'll definitely choke on it. Someone might use this key for murder. Because keys are mysterious. If something bad happens, it would be too late. I want everyone to get along. Oh, Monodom, you're so reckless. <laughs> I don't like you. Give me that key. Let's carry Monodum away for now. We'll carry him like a kind boss taking care of a drunk employee. So long. Farewell. So does that mean we can't get the key? What the hell? Uh... But I'm only gonna lock this door when I'm inside working. So... Where's Maki? She needs to take care of these kids. Yeah, no kidding. I don't care if I can't open or close the door from the outside. Ah. Oh, I guess that's fine then. By the, way. By the way, those guys said they know everything about us, right? That's probably why this lab fits Angie's taste so well. So does that mean this school was specially made for us? But Monokuma's claimed that before, but is that really possible? I don't know if she's gonna kill anyone. I think she's gonna defy expectations and not kill anybody. Or if it is, it's gonna, like, be like a self-defense thing. Man, I'd let Maki kill me too, damn. <laughs> How can we kill someone inside the lab and lock it if we don't have the key? Hmm. This giant complex was built just for the 16 of us? Only Atua knows it's a sure. miraculous mystery that only Atua knows, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's comfortable, I'm fine. Uh, yep. If our lives here become more enriched, then there's even less reason to leave this place. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Are we supposed to be okay with that? I feel like I'm in a room with two crazy people. <laughs> he would have to trick somebody into doing it. I feel like Kokichi couldn't act like couldn't kill somebody on his own. Oh wait, I need to clean. I need to clean. There's so much to clean in this lab. <gasps> yes! Man. I just love wrecking Angie's room. Ah, uh, that felt pretty good. Alright, let's look at the wax. <laughs> That's true, he's all about delegating. And Gonta won't kill anybody, so he can't trick them that way. What is this heap of stuff? Looks like it's... doesn't look like wood or stone. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is wax for making wax sculptures. Uh-oh, I think I know what's gonna happen. Mm. Oh, wax sculptures, huh? You can make those, Angie? Yup, yup. <laughs> I'm... I'm the ultimate clean freak. Somebody has to do it now that Kurumi's not here. Someone else don't. No, I don't trust Mew either. I, like, I can predict Mew. I don't think she would kill anybody, though. Mew's, uh... She's all bark, no bite. Yeah, 100%. I don't trust him. But Atua is the one who's going to be doing the sculpting. Okay. Oh, uh, I see. But, 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 it seems like people who have been making wax sculptures for a long time. In ancient times, death masks used to be made from wax. <laughs> Miraculously, she's avoided horny jail. She's gonna die most likely. Yeah, that's what I figure. I figure if somebody... Mm, I don't know. I could see her living to the end. I can see her making it. Like, just beating the odds and just making it. A wax death mask. That's kind of scary. Uh, what else? Yes! I missed one. Yeah, well, I mean, they're both voiced by Wendy Lee, so I think that feels... That's suitable. Uh, is there nothing else here? Oh, door. Back door. This door isn't the one we used to come in. This door is super crappy. I'm guessing this is the rear entrance. See? 
That is true, yeah. The idiot always survives. <gasps> Does that mean Kaito's gonna survive? I'm not getting my hopes up. <laughs> so, that's true. Um, well, he's got like a percentage to see the future. See, it's got a sliding lock just slapped on here. If I remember correctly. <laughs> he did, yes. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. Ah, oh, right, and the door that we used. Yeah. Yeah, that door has a knob and a cylinder lock. Hmm. The same classroom has two different kinds of locks for the doors. That's mildly infuriating. No, no. No, no. It's perfect that they're not the same. Uh... <laughs> yes, we're all safe. Especially me. Symmetry is a Western beauty ideal. They like symmetry and the golden ratio and such. And then? But I think asymmetry and partition functions are more beautiful. <laughs> well, I don't really get it, but... I suppose that makes sense. Can't stay long, stuff to find the flashback light. I have other places to check. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Um, wait. I should probably talk to them. Oh, Ooh, I see, I see. There's an easel, brushes, and all kinds of art supplies here. Sculpting tools, chisels, and a wooden hammer. What a divine collection of tools. These are all my favorites, so I can make do even if I don't have access to deep sea. Uh, um. Now that you mention it, I don't see any completed pieces in here. I would expect an art room to have sculptures and replica paintings and things like that. I, I don't need references when Atua is the one who creates the art. So divine! From now on, this place will be filled with my collaborations with Atua. Yep, you, you go get him, Angie. Oh, look, Shuichi, the ceiling here is pretty unique. Oh. You're right. Yeah, exposed beams. I wonder, is it supposed to be like this, or did they just not finish it in time? Oh, Those cheap knockoffs are useless. Like that time they mixed up the Cubs pads. Uh, I don't care. This kind of bare ceiling doesn't bother me. Even Atua says it's more sensitive when the skin's peeled back. Oh, Angie scares me. <laughs> that woman terrifies me. <laughs> so I think that's it for this section. Because, yeah, then it's just the other door. Oh, we hit our steps. All right, we can head back down the creepy, creepy hallway. Uh, yeah, there's a thing for a scroll, but we do have a scroll, but nowhere to put it. <laughs> Make her a useless kill. I don't know. I'd kind of like them to do something with her. I do hope if she does end up, like, contributing to something, like, she's a killer, you know? Because then that would confirm all of my suspicions. You check outside? Like, outside the room? Or, like, outside, outside? So that's the anthropologist's room. Got double doors on this one. No. Uh, outside, outside. No, I have not been outside, outside yet. I was just heading downstairs. Because I'm not sure where these other things go. But everybody's telling me to go outside, so I guess I'm going outside. <laughs> Let's see here. Need some fresh air after dealing with this floor. Yeah, no kidding. Whoop. Whoop. Here we go. That is true. We can't go outside, outside, outside. But we can't go outside, outside. So that's fine. <laughs> outside, 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 outside. Did we find out what this was all about? Or was that the flashback light? I'm trying to remember. Man, there are so many floors here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, well, I guess we don't need that one, huh? And I know, I'm taking the long way around. <laughs> but it helps me get better acquainted with the layout of the school. Because, dang, I get lost all the time. 
Ah! There are fewer plants than before. Maintenance must be progressing well. It's becoming more and more beautiful. Just like me. Hmm. Uh, really? Ooh, that is not a good thing to say to a teenage girl who's calling herself pretty. Oh. Oh, you just made Himiko angry. Someone like you wouldn't know this, but this is Himiko when she's mad. No. No, I was just blushing. Huh? What? From your own compliment? But... Himiko, your expression doesn't change much, so it's hard to tell what you're feeling. What a pain. Changing expressions is a pain. That's the only reason you don't do it? Oh, bye. Uh, let's see here. Where's the dog scroll thing? Was that off this way? Hmm. Off they go. <laughs> Teenage girls should know better than, than to ask a guy for his opinion on things like appearance and that. You're only gonna get disappointed. Oh, mistakes have been made, yeah. Um, uh, backyard. I don't remember there being any mysterious objects in here. I'll look elsewhere. No, maybe it was around the other way. I don't think there's... Let's be over this way. It's the creepy exosols. Um... No, I'm gone there. I know there was a dog statue thing. I'm just trying to remember where it was. Thought maybe it was around this way. Nope, doesn't look it. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just zooming along here. Yeah, yeah, that's... That's been my experience. I, I can agree with that. <laughs> you can always check the map. Oh, that's true. That feels like cheating, though. Don't you dare come near me. Yeah, you turn around. <laughs> I think it's down here? I didn't know if the map would tell you, like, where the statues are, though. Oh, hello. Hey, Shuichi. Shuichi, there's something I have to tell you. There's something she has to tell me? What could it be? Okay. It's... It's never a bad thing to take a moment to think about your words before you say them. That usually can only help you. Unless you're playing a game show and you need to answer quickly. In the last trial, I admitted there was a trick to the water tank, but I didn't use it. I did the underwater escape act with magic. That was magic. It's magic. Got it. Uh, okay. Yeah. She's still not gonna let that go, huh? I... But I'm filled with regret. Huh? Regret? Uh... My shows are supposed to make people smile, but... It was used for the exact opposite. Plus, if I hadn't used all my magic doing the underwater escape, I could have instantly killed the piranhas and saved Ryoma's body. Himiko, hmm. it seems like, as a mage, I've still got a ways to go. She's still in training, after all, I suppose. Hey, Tenko! My spirit was weak last night. I meant it when I said that I was sick of the killing game. But I'm ashamed I even suggested that we give up and stay here forever. <laughs> She's secretly Ryoma. We're gonna escape this place without resorting to killing. We can't give up. Okay. You're right, we can't give up. I... With Himiko by my side, I'll fight to carry on Kaede and Karumi's wishes. Oh, and I guess Rantaro and Ryoma's wishes, too. Might as well. <laughs> Bring back the piranhas. We'll get another corpse. Might as well. That's right. You should be grateful that I'm being nice and including degenerate wishes at all. 
Tanko, you're so kind. Let me just statue. <laughs> Man, if I heard that, I would be freaking out. I'm just thinking at the end. Ooh, this is neat. Welcome. Welcome. Just thinking of uh, one of the ending scenes at the end of Danganronpa 2 when everybody came back. And it was just like, oh, everybody's here! A, a building? What kind of technology makes a building suddenly appear? This isn't real, we're in the Matrix again. Gotta stay hydrated. Wow! Hi, yeah! It's not just any building, it's a dojo! So it doesn't matter how it appeared. Right! Like, I wouldn't care if a chef came by car or train as long as they made me good food. Is that really the same? Magic. This is my magic, too. Don't take credit for somebody else's thing. No. Yeah, it's not real. You can go home. It's fine. <laughs> uh, no, I used an item on the statue. It's magic. It's my magic. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. I do love the trend of the sarcastic leads in Danganronpa games. <laughs> Yes, a dojo! I, a dojo. No school is complete without a dojo. Now let's go! Hmm. Oh, uh, Shuichi, you can decline. I'd actually prefer it since you're a degenerate and all. Well, too bad. I'm going in there. You can't stop me, Tanko. Let's be an ultimate research lab, and from the look of the building... The cake. It's the ultimate Aikido Master's lab! I'm sure of it. All right, let's go inside. Don't be shy, Himiko. Ladies first. What a pain. I mean, she could. But that would also mean she would have to, like... I feel like if she had... If she... If she was in the right zone, she could fight a male. A degenerate male. But I feel like if it was just a matter of, like, shoving him away, she couldn't do it. It'd be, like, ugh, disgusting. I don't want to touch a degenerate male. Beat a Tanko in a 1v1. Yeah, what a pain. Pushing Himiko along, Tanko stepped inside the building. That's Love when we stepped inside and it was mine. Suppose I should check inside too. Oh no, this is a pretty sick lab too. Oh my god. Whoa, this is a huge dojo. The tatami mats are new. They smell nice. Haha! I fought them all. Oh, I can't get him. Monitor's all the way up there. The tatami mats are new. They smell nice. Excellent observation. The giant wooden doll is creepy, though. What is this? It's a large doll made of wood and... Wait, is that a doll? Is this supposed to watch over us and protect us? I can't hit- I- I'm not a match for him. He's too strong. Monitor. Oh, scaffold. There it is. There's a scaffold with- There's a scaffold suspended in the air with chains. Is this for some kind of jump training? It's like a kung fu movie. Just- just rub your face against it. And just- Get a whiff. I don't know, I guess tatami mats probably smell distinct. Nah, yeah, what a pain. There's no mana here. This is not my kind of place. Tanko would be hurt to hear you say that. Damn it! Is he from Tekken? Mokujin? See, this is my lab, you jerk. Why? Why are you angry? Wow. 
I'm so happy. I just can't contain my emotions. Like an excited dog that just pees everywhere. An emotional roller coaster, the complete opposite of Himiko. That's amazing! Tenko has enough emotions for two people. She's got Himiko covered. Wow, this is such a nice dojo. I'm sure sparring will be incredible here. But, but with that a sparring partner. Ah, no, not me. Oh no. What was that for? Man, Shuichi's always getting beat up. That's not fair. The poor boy's just doing his best. First he gets knocked out by Gonta. Now he gets flipped by Tanko. <laughs> ow, ow, ow! Why are you throwing me? Listen up. Neo Aikido is a super serious martial art. Instead of training, we just fight head on. Yeah, he needs to do more push-ups. Now, Himiko, aim for the heart. Huh? You're gonna start with that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait. This is just kidding. Why did we go straight into actual fighting? Got it. You don't have a lot of confidence in yourself, do you, Shuichi? Huh? What? Mm -hmm. You lack mm -hmm. self-esteem, and because of that, you doubt your strength. You seem more confident than before, but I can tell you still question yourself. Right. Well, I'm right, aren't I? I can tell when my sparring partner is burdened by doubt. Uh, okay. You might be right. Wow, an interesting bit of, uh... Wow, a bit of depth to Tango. Listen up. Because I was actually just thinking up until now, it's like, out of all the characters to hang out with, Tanko's probably like bottom of the list of ones I actually want to hang out with. But that was like a neat little moment there. I'm, I'm warming up to that. Yeah, she read my mind. You know what works real good at lifting all that doubt? Neo Aikido. Oh man, anything's possible. <laughs> Because Aikido itself is a Japanese martial art that treasures a pure heart above all else. Himiko. So how about you, Himiko? Mm -hmm. eh? right. If we combine your magic with my Neo Aikido, then we'd be able to solve things by force. By force? I thought this was about being pure of heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to do any exercise. It's too much of a... Oh no! No, you can't do that with Himiko, she's too small! Pure Heart of Darkness may work, right? Eh, ah, maybe. Where's Kokichi? <laughs> yeah, just Tenko suplexes. Yes, don't flip the child! Don't flip the child! Yeah, she's flying! This is why Himiko likes hanging out with Angie, Tenko. It's because you do stuff like this. I see. It seems you're still too shy to show your emotions, Himiko. What a waste. You have the richest heart of all. That's right! You should do Neo Aikido, Himiko. Training your body will help you express your emotions. <sighs> yeah, they're all children, but, like, Himiko has trouble, like, using the bathroom by herself. Now come sweat with me, and afterward we'll hit the showers together. <laughs> That's how she gets a read on people. Nah, my back. I feel like turning you into a gross frog with my magic right now. Oh, you're angry. I can see it in your heart. Even I can see that. All right, I think that's everything in here. There's the platforms. Oh, no, the balance pole. Is this a pillar? Why is there a pillar here? Yeah, run, Tico, run! Um, yeah, I think that's it. There's the scaffolding, the pole, giant wood doll, the mats. Okay, that seems to be it. Uh, we've got one more. Dang, we may or may not get to hangouts tonight. Hmm? What's that over there? Oh, it's Mew. <laughs> Come on, what's the big deal? I can't hold back any longer. But how? No, it's too soon. I'm not ready for that. What's 
What is happening? So good. I won't make things worse, and you'll probably feel a lot better. Just the tip is fine. <laughs> that voice line. <laughs> Oh no! We can take this relationship to the next level, please? Yep, just the tip. Oh, blushy Kibo. But Mew, we shouldn't. Come with me. It'll be fine, just come with me, we'll do it together. I'm guessing Kibo needs maintenance? Pulling on Kibo's arm, Mew made her way to the ultimate inventor's lab. What's going on? That's my question. What was that? I feel like I just saw something I wasn't supposed to see. I should check to see what's going on just in case. Shuichi's becoming a nosy bitch now. He's like, I know I've got stuff I need to do, but I need to know what the hell's going on with that. Careful not to make a sound. I fe this feels like the man's nut scene all over again. Okay, I opened the door and peeked inside. I heard a strange sound. When I looked for the source of the sound, my eyes were met with an unbelievable sight. Oh. Man, you're really plugged up. You're practically throbbing. Oh no. <laughs> throbbing with dust and debris, that is. Just get an aerosol can, just shh. There you go. Dust is gone. Dirt is gone. Why you gotta make this weird? <laughs> Twitch, please don't ban me. No good at all. You must feel so pent up. Um Maybe? <laughs> I apologize. I've been neglecting my needs ever since I got here. Relax. I'll get it all out. Trust me. You'll feel much better after. I mean, Kay said it. I thought it. And I'm glad she said it so I didn't have to. <laughs> oh, um, thank you? Oh, yeah, your chassis is firm. Really firm. Like, damn. It's the subtleties in this game that just really elevate it to the next level. It's because of scenes like this that I can't share my Twitch channel with people I know. Because then they'll see me playing this. <laughs> this is what happens <laughs> in the games I play. Your body is seriously incredible. I've never seen one like this. Uh, like their dialogue was bad in Danganronpa 2, like, in terms of, like, this. This is blatant. This is not fool- like, not even pretending. Careful, be gentle. That tickles. Oh no, I hate this. This is amazing. Whoever put you together definitely knew what they were doing. Oh, I feel all tingly. You definitely know what you're doing, too. If you keep this oh, up, no. I just might. <laughs> yes. Hello, Andrew Quantum. You've gotten here at just the right time? <laughs> oh! <laughs> so that's the sound you make when I touch that spot. Good to know. I think we need to leave. I closed the door without a word. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, man. Me was just doing some maintenance on Kibo's body. That's all it was. Indeed. Nothing but that. <laughs> yeah, I need an adult too. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, what am I- Okay, hammer. Hammer. Last item. Okay. Now, where is this supposed to go? Like, is it inside somewhere? Gotta get- gotta get- focus. Focus back. Think of where I would need the hammer. It must be inside. Yeah, oh yeah, what was I doing? Uh yeah, it must be inside somewhere. 
Maybe on the other side of the school. Yeah. I mean, the only thing with the shower scene in Danganronpa 2 was because... Like, there was the potential for nudity, I guess? Like, it was, it was close to, but not quite nudity. Whereas with this, it's just like, oh, this is just... Nope. Not that way. No, it's not the classroom. The language in this one was worse. <laughs> okay, must be over around this way. <laughs> That's the thing, it's like sometimes like there was these steamy scenes that involve a character you like, but then it's just like so blatant or almost like vaguely out of character that you're kind of just like taken out of the moment. And it's like, uh, you know, and I'm I'm good. What just happened? My Wi-Fi crashed. Oh, oh, infamous god, you missed a you missed a whopper of a scene between uh Kibo and Mew. They were, they were getting a little steamy there. Okay, it must be over this way. Hammer, hammer. Should I Google it? Um, I would say wait till after, check out the VOD. It's not a big scene. You can YouTube it if you want to. Will I be put on a list if I do? There is nothing explicit in the scene except for the implication language. Um, where am I supposed to... Hmm. Wait, will the map tell me? Yeah, I don't need to worry about getting banned. <laughs> yeah, it's Mew all over, right? Hmm. Relaxation is it over here? <laughs> this game is going to horny jail. Um. Oh wait, no. That was Maki's room. Um, hmm. God, I love Mew. <laughs> um, I'm not sure where to go for this hammer, guys. <laughs> Just going to horny jail. Does the hammer go? I know, but Akane just like it wasn't so much like a horniness thing. She just didn't care. Akane just like had no real like perception of like, oh, I'm like a really hot girl, so when I do like weird things like this people are gonna react funny to it. Whereas, like, Mew knows exactly what she's doing and she, like, baits it. But everybody thinks she's gross and should go to horny jail, so... <laughs> nah, I know. Nah, I get it. Oh, I don't want to go in there. There's just sad things in there. Dang it, where's this hammer supposed to go? Got two classrooms here, but... Would you guys happen to remember where the hammer goes? Because I am having some trouble here. Or maybe over here. Like, this whole sitting area is weird. Okay, so... <laughs> so I'm not stupid because I didn't realize it. Okay, thank you, Qua. Yeah, like, Akane just kind of says it, and it's just like, Oh no, Akane, that sounds like this. On a wall near a Monokuma. On the fourth floor. Oh, really? It's up on the fourth floor. Oh, dang. Okay. Here. Really? So 
always near people. Thank you, Schwankman, and welcome to the stream. It's always near people. Yeah, but we've done the fourth floor, though. Is it near Gonta's lap? Here, one sec. Because that's those two spots are accounted for. Nobody's there. Nobody here. Kaito's in Maki's room. Okay, it's saying here, so I imagine... Okay, it's probably there. Oh, what? I can't... It won't let me beam over there. Okay, here, then I'll go to the third floor. There. <laughs> Since it won't let me beam over to the fourth floor yet. Here we go. Go near Gonta. Okay. Thank you, Schwinkman. Appreciate it. Oh! Here's the scene. Uh. Ah. Hey! What are you doing here? And he's gone. <laughs> Monokuma stared at me in silence, then disappeared down the hallway. Uh, I mm. suppose he wants me to follow him. What could be down there? Probably nothing good. Monokuma's glancing back and forth at me and the picture on the wall. Uh, um. Hmm? This picture? Huh? Oh, I see. It's not a canvas, it's a pane of glass. Hmm. Perhaps. Maybe I should use that item I haven't used yet on this. All right. All right, it's worth a try. I held the hammer in my hand, faced the glass in front of me, and threw it as hard as I could. A lot of bad luck from that now. I knew it. Just as I thought. There's a hidden passageway here. Oh, bye. <laughs> I don't know what he's up to, but this really did help us out. Oh, this isn't creepy at all. The passageway looked different than the haunted house. More like a factory. Oh, great. We're in Silent Hill now. Hmm. This is eerie in a different way. If I start seeing fog, I'm out of here. Yeah, this is creepy. Hmm. <laughs> if anybody gives you a hammer, just throw the damn thing. Is this Kibos? Yeah, it's a computer room and a massive Xbox. <laughs> It's a giant machine. I've never seen this before. Look at this. You bastards. If you've come this far, that means you solved the painting puzzle. I guess they didn't want to spread you out too much, I guess? It's just between the fourth floor and then out in the yard. Excellent teamwork. Yeah. Huh? What teamwork? It's just Shuichi. That puzzle was too difficult for one person to solve. I'm sure they got along and solved it together. <laughs> oh, I can't lift it. Let's just play along. We'll put ourselves in danger if we defy him. It's true what they say. The serious ones are the scariest when they finally snap. I'm certain it's not possible. But did that outdated piece of junk help you at all? Maybe? So. Oh, yes. We should explain this room. So this is the computer room. That's funny. It looks different from the computer room I had as a kid. A little different. Similar. <laughs> Doesn't return. It just throws computer room. But this computer isn't just some ordinary computer. This computer you're looking at is, like, super amazing. If I remember correctly, it's so amazing you can even use it to create a new world. <gasps> oh, is this the computer, um, 
is this the system we were hooked up to in Danganronpa 2? A new world. Okay. Yeah, a new world. You can use this to create a new world. Hmm? Wait, were we supposed to tell him that? I've already forgotten the plan. Aww. You totally said too much. Sorry. Yeah, the new world program. <laughs> ah, I knew it. You're so forgetful, Monotaro. You gotta try to remember what you can and can't say. Mm. Sorry. Why didn't you help him, Monofanny? Eh? Huh? When you realized he was saying too much, you could have helped him, right? Okay. It is a whole new world. So why didn't you? I cannot forgive that. That's what I was thinking of. Like, he's gonna have to kill off another one of them. But, like, they're both pretty cooperative for the most part. Like, I can't see him killing Monofanny, but after this conversation, maybe. No, let's not wake up Junko again. You're friends, right? So why didn't you help him? Oh, uh, well, um... I will not if you can't get along, you will be punished. You too, Monotaro. Friends share everything, even punishments. Yeah. What? <laughs> Backfire! So long, farewell! <laughs> I think it's time for a water top-up. All right, this machine can make a new world. What are they talking about? But I'm not good with computers. I don't think I'd understand it no matter how much I investigate. Wait, ooh, there's the chest. Anything else? Hmm, there's the computers. Oh, good, some more chairs. There's a giant green computer in the middle of the room. Let's play some Halo, hell yeah. This machine can make a new world. What could that mean? How, with how little I know about computers, I don't think I stand a chance. I guess I have no choice but to leave it be for now. That's what we want. Ah, a treasure chest. I open the chest eagerly and... I found one, a flashback light. With this, I can find out where the, this place is, why we're here. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, you found the flashback light. Wow, you're pretty dependable despite that lame face of yours. I respect that. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. I'll get the others. You just bring that to the dining hall, Shuichi. Okay. Well, I'm off. See ya. Now, nah, Monokuma's kind of... He's, he's having a thing right now. He chatted away and I couldn't get a word in edgewise. He left, waving goodbye. Alright. Um, is there anything else to look at here? Or is it just the computer? Well, that's it. Not a lot of clickables, but okay. Dining hall it is. You know what? We'll just... I'll just zip over there. This is faster. There we go. <gasps> but you can smash! That is true. I did smash already. Here we go, right at the dining hall. Gang's all here. Really? Shuichi, is it true that you found another flashback light? Okay. Yeah, it's true. I see. Wait, so Kokichi wasn't lying? I'm stunned, startled, shocked. Hey, see, I told you I wasn't lying. Good thing too, because I don't want my pants on fire. Actually, I want to start talking about what we're going to do, but Kaito isn't here yet. Oh, oh Maki's not here either. Yeah, Maki. <laughs> I said that just as that came up. Maki's not here either. Ah. Oh, Maki's not coming. I didn't invite her. Huh? Hmm? You didn't invite her? Hey, hey. Forget about that killer. Hey, Mew, Keyboy, did you guys see the computer room on the fourth floor? Huh? Computer room, you say? Go on. Hey. Yeah, there was a big computer on the fourth floor. 
Would you take a look later? You or Kibo might know something about it, right? My apologies. Maki! I'm sorry, I'm not very computer savvy. <sighs> He's not strong. He doesn't have cool features except for his, like, ancient audio recording capabilities. And he doesn't know how computers work. Kibo, I love you, honey, but you gotta- you gotta get it together. <laughs> Who is this guy? I guess. It might be too high-tech for him. Who knows? What? Oh, is that so? That's... unexpected. <laughs> ultimate useless. <laughs> Which is worse, ultimate useless or ultimate dead guy? I have been meaning to ask, but Kibo, what is your talent exactly? Well... Well, I can do all sorts of things. Indeed. I was giving Mew a good time earlier. <laughs> oh yes, I'm pretty good at one-man comedy shows, if I do say so myself. Oh please, I was just talking- I was like, ultimate stand-up comedian. Yes, 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 yes. Don't worry. Oh, that's true, it could be fertilizer. But I'm sure you could use the parts from Kibo to like, make a bike or something. Keyboy's existence is the only ultimate thing about him. Other than that, he's got no talent. Do not mock me! <laughs> I just told you I'm good at one-man comedy shows. Hmm. <laughs> Ultimate lover, Kibo. <laughs> no. <laughs> he has certain features mortal men can't do. I guess. <laughs> I'll I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I don't really get it, but we just need to check out this computer room, right? But I'm not gonna come just for some computer. It's gotta take way more than that. Uh, um, uh well, the monocubs did say it was amazing. Go. Hey, thanks for waiting. Oh, he brought Maki. Oh. He goes on forever. <laughs> Kaito and... Huh? Maki? Why is Maki with you? Of course! Well, this is about that flashback light, so everyone should be here, yeah? <laughs> but when you say everyone, do you truly need to include a professional killer? Oh no, Olaf. <laughs> Ma'am, I- What's funny is that, like, Maki is an assassin. She has killed people. I imagine she's killed many people. The characters are judging her pretty harshly for it. I'm remembering back to Danganronpa 1, when we found out that Toko is a serial killer who's killed many people. Still treated just fine. Even though she is legitimately a crazy person. And I'm not saying that because of her, like, multiple personality thing. Toko's got some stuff she's gotta work out. But, like, I think Maki's being given a bad rap here. She's just a lady doing a job. I'm leaving. Come on, man. Wait, hold on a sec. Kaido gripped Maki's arm before she could leave. By the way. I'm yeah, she was useful, but I mean, like Maki can be useful, and Maki's not unhinged either. That we know of. Kaito, didn't you say you wanted to take down her mask or whatever? Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna take down her mask as a murderer. Huh? What? Hey, so I just can't believe a girl like her is capable of killing people in cold blood. Yeah, but even then, like, as a caregiver, it's just... Ma yes, that's true. Maki also showers, I'm assuming. Um... Uh, is it true? Are you really the ultimate assassin, Maki? Have you killed anyone before? Is she blushing? Okay. Yes. Really? What? Why you hide that? Tch, isn't it obvious? It's so she could kill us all before we figured out her identity. She would have done that by now. <laughs> What's he trying to be my friend for? Oh, he's so weird. That's wrong. You're wrong. It's because I knew you guys would react this way. Huh? What? 
Because when people learn my ultimate talent, they get the same fear in their eyes that you all have. Mmm, she would have taken it, yeah. The fact that she didn't is, I think, a testament to her character. Eventually, that fear will turn into hate. And then someone will try to kill me because they're afraid I'll kill them first. That's... That's not... What's the point? Whenever someone learns my real identity, they try to kill me. It happens every time. Always. Huh? Absolute clowns. Always? Hmm. Hmm, you've lived a pretty sad life, Maki. That's so mean. Aw, poor, poor Maki. I feel so sorry for you. I think I'm about to cry. Oh, I see. Because of everything you've been through, human life has no value to you now. Is that it? Jeez. She's an assassin, not some murderous fiend. Even if she did kill someone, that doesn't mean she thinks it's okay to... Oh. Hey, can you let go of me now? Uh, uh oh. Kaito finally go let go of her arm and Maki let out a sigh. It's okay. Man, I think Kokichi does want to die. He's just taunting everybody. And she did almost kill him last time. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I kept it a secret, and I tried to avoid you guys as much as I could. Oh. But someone who doesn't know how to mind his business kept dragging me places. Huh? Huh? Are you talking about me? Well... However, I'll say this. I have no intention of killing any of you, unless one of you tries to kill me first. <sighs> Having said that, you probably won't believe me anyway. Then... So, you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll all agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. And off she goes. Yeah, I don't think there's anybody who uh, Kokichi hasn't burned yet in some way, shape, or form. Maybe Samugi, but... Pouting Maki is cute. I like Maki. She is very cute. Maki started out as a threat, but the last bit seemed a little sad. You're so dumb. Jeez, Kaido, what were you thinking? Are you trying to turn us against each other? I think I speak for everyone when I say we're all disappointed in you. Right, guys? No. No, I wouldn't say that, but... Tell me your thoughts. Shall we finally get started? We've all gathered here for the flashback light, yes? Everyone! Yes, so have we all decided what we're going to do? Sneak attack! Use it, of course. We might be able to remember something new. <laughs> like the true purpose of the ultimate hunt. No. Well, we don't know for sure if it's got anything to do with why we're trapped here. What was that? Don't give me that wishy-washy bullshit. Of course it's got something to do with why. Hey! Hey, instead of arguing, it'd be way faster to just use it, you know? Right. Yeah, going to worry, but we gotta do it. But, but... But, but, no matter what we remember, you can't think about wanting to leave this place. Come on, come if on! If you think like that, uh -oh. we'll just be repeating ourselves. You gotta be kidding me! Uh, I know that, and we can't go around repeating ourselves. We must do it. Then let's give it a try. Shuichi, go for it. Um, I'm a little nervous. I'm sort of just plain nauseous. Everyone turned their eyes to me and I flicked on the flashback light. And at that moment, once again, the world warped. My consciousness went white, and somewhere in that whiteness, a scene played. They were so young and talented. How could this happen? Whoa. Okay. Alright, who's not here? Who's not here? Is this everybody? I don't see anybody missing. <laughs> oh, that is... Yeah. It is him. It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? 
I honestly can't believe that. Uh, what was that? A funeral? It was mine. It was everyone's here. Huh? Why? Why was I at my own funeral? What? What? A funeral? You too, Shuichi? I see. It would appear we all remembered the same thing. The fuck's going on? But what the fuck does it mean? Why was I watching your guys' funeral? And why was I there too? Why? What the hell's going on? What was the funeral? But the only thing I can remember is seeing that funeral. Nothing else. No way! It must have happened at some point. Maybe we... already dead? <laughs> no way! Jeez, this is so stupid, I couldn't help but laugh. I mean, there's no way that was our memory of our funeral. Then... Then what was it? I mean... It was probably a memory of our school festival or something. What? School festival? That's right. Yeah, it was probably a memory from a play we did for the school festival or something. Oof, that is. Mmm, mmm. Laying on that denial, super thick. I mean, isn't it obvious if you just think about it? Of course! If that funeral was real, there's no way we'd still be alive. Uh, yeah, that's true. Um, but aren't we all from different high schools? Why would we have a school festival together? Well, that's. That's... We'll probably remember something else about it later. Got it. <laughs> Fake their own deaths? I mean... That would be one way to escape from the hunt, maybe? Anyway, there's no way that funeral was real. There's no mistaking that. Logical. You're right. If we think about it logically, that's clearly out of the question. Thank goodness. Okay, good. Going to think everyone was already dead. Don't worry about it. Man, we got everything. We got we got an assassin, we got a detective, we got an astronaut, we got whatever the hell Kokichi's supposed to be. It's great. Stop saying stupid stuff. Look at me, I'm alive. Hail and hearty. <laughs> a hearty? Cause you get a heart on every time you see me. Oh yeah! Oh, I heard males can tell they're healthy by how hard they get in the morning. Is that true? Where did this conversation come from? Hey, stay in your lane, bitch. Oh. I'm not good with other people's dirty jokes. Aw, oh, man. What a disappointment. Huh? Disappointment? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. This flashback light was a real letdown. We didn't find out anything about the ultimate hunt. Just some weird memory. Okay. <laughs> yeah, seriously, talk about a disappointment. Nuh-uh. No, I'm not talking about the memory. I'm talking about you guys. Huh? What? It's a lie. <laughs> yeah, Tenko's, uh... <laughs> oh, no, it's nothing. I'm just lying again, so psh, don't worry about it. I wish you wouldn't have said anything in the first place. But more importantly, the memory of the funeral we saw... It can't be a memory of a real funeral. We have to learn more about this. Oh, <laughs> no matter how hard I think about it, I can't wrap my head around it. After that experience, we ate a meal in the dining hall and returned to our rooms. So I imagine now this is going to be the start of free time, but of course... I feel like there's some kind of secret about that funeral. I can't stop thinking about it. Yeah, it's clone high. Yeah, we're all clones. Don't worry, Blue Spider, you are among friends. But it's hard to deduce anything from such a short scene. I could ask Monokuma for a hint. That would help, but... I shouldn't waste my time trying to solve an unsolvable problem. That's not the attitude of a detective. I still have some time left today. Maybe I'll head out. Clear my head. Ah, but unfortunately, I think we're coming up on time for tonight, guys. So, we will save here. 
But don't worry, we will have some free time tomorrow night. One more for safety. Excuse me while I go to green hell for a minute. Do we have time to finish the day? I really don't. Sorry, guys. I, I've gone long the past couple of sessions, and... But we will be continuing tomorrow night at 7.30. Same time, we're going to be doing some hangouts. I was kind of hoping... Oh, well, I appreciate you joining me. It's always... It's fun playing these games with an audience. Like, because when crazy moments happen, like the Mew and Kibo scene, it's nice to have other people sort of sharing in the uncomfortableness of it, I guess. It's the best way of putting it. But it looks like tomorrow night we're going to be doing some hangout time. I was hoping if we were going to get to some today. Because it's International Women's Day, I thought it'd be fun if we did just all girl hangouts. So we'll see how far we get tomorrow. Maybe the ones I pick will be all girls and I'll let you guys... Like, we'll alternate. I'll pick one, you'll pick one. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Well, thank you all so much for joining me. And yeah... Feel free to come by tomorrow night. We'll be continuing it some more. If anything happens between now and then, I'll be sure to let you know on Twitter. And in the meantime, if you want to watch some stuff, I've got my YouTube channel linked here. I got some old VODs. I got some shorts. I've got some bonus stuff I wasn't able to do on Twitch. Feel free to check out that stuff there. Maki and Amami, it's International Women's Day. Oh, but we've already lost- Maki for sure I want to hang out with tomorrow, though. That's 100%. I definitely want to hang out with Maki. But you guys think about who you want me to hang out with. I'll try to think of some people. But in the meantime, guys, bayonara and so long, bear well. I will see you guys tomorrow night at the next stream. See ya.